Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day again everyone. Today we will be discussing about theorem number 15. And theorem number 15 being the external angle at the vertex of a cyclic quadrilateral is congruent to the opposite angle. So what do we mean by this one first? Um, I, what do we mean by this one? First, let's discuss what, how do we ha have or create an external angle. So, say we have this given figure. Yan. We have this given rhombus. Okay. External angles are angles that is formed that is formed by extending one side of our given figure. Say we have this given figure and we will extend this side. Yan. And if we extend this side, wait, yeah, I'm medyo pangit. Wait lang ha. Let's create a, let's get a ruler. Okay. So, if we extend one side, what would happen there would be this one. You will create an angle with the other two sides. What do you mean anong other two sides? With this side ito, tong side na yan this side, and also this side. Okay, if you would extend your given um, side. Uh, itong side na to, yung nasa taas. And what would happen is you will create this angle, and also this angle. Okay? You will have these angles. And that is what we mean by having a, um, a an external angle okay an external angle on any given figure is not necessarily congruent to the opposite angle this one would only work if and if you have a circle this would work if you have a circle a cyclic quadrilateral but basically that is how you create an external angle say we have an, a triangle here we extend this side you will oh god so ugly you will create, uh, extend this side, you will have an angle here outside. And this angle is called an inter external angle. And this angle inside is called the internal angle. Okay? External and internal angles. Okay? So, I hope that you follow that. And uh, now, let's go back to our figure. Now, ang sabi dito is that if you have an external angle given, let's, let's change this from theta, let's make it um, beta. Okay? make it beta. Okay. So, if you have this angle beta here, okay, external angle, it's actually congruent to the opposite angle. Anong opposite angle? Ang external angle will not exist without an internal angle. So, this is the partner na internal angle niya. And it's always congruent to the opposite internal angle. Okay? So, let's, uh, let's maybe let's have a figure in GeoGebra so that you can have a better picture. Okay? So, I have created this um, figure, this uh, cyclic quadrilateral already, and I have created this uh, given um, this given line outside, which will give us an external angle. Ang sabi daw dito is if we have an external angle, it's equal to the opposite internal angle. So, if we have this figure, dalawa yung ating external angle, which is this at point B and at point E. Okay, we have at point B and at point E. Okay, so ang sabi dito is that if we, uh, I have the external angle at point B, it must be congruent to point D, the angle at point D or vertex D. Bakit? Kasi this one is an external angle here, outside, and this one is an internal angle, opposite yan. So, let's try to find the measure. Let's try to find the measure. Um, I would guess it would go like this. No, no, no. The other way around. Oops, sorry. Um, maybe let's just create a line segment here. Because it's not giving me the angle measurement. Okay, so let's find the angle here. Let me hide the line for a while. Medyo the object. Yeah, okay. So let's find the angle for this and this. You will notice that it's the same. 100 to siya. Wait, let me move this one. It's 102 and at the same time, the inside or internal angle is 102 as well. 102.55 and also 102.55. So then again, it's true for any given instances. Remember, the external angle is equal to the opposite internal angle. And this would be the case. Okay? So if we would try to do that to each and every given... Um, each and every given... Uh, uh, external angle, it would be the same. So, let's try on this one. On this E. This angle E, the opposite is angle C. So therefore, the um, the angle that would that would be formed, okay, let me hide again the line. 
the angle that would be formed, the external angle that would be formed would be congruent to 66.64 or the angle C. So let's try to find the measure of the angle. So you will notice it's 66.64, the same, 66.64, then it's congruent, then we have proven, based on example, that our theorem number 15 is true for any given case. So what would happen? Sir, if I move this one, do you think will that change? You will notice it's 87.89, it's still 87.89, okay? And let's move this one. See, it's 82.6 and same, it's 82.6. It will never change, okay? And maybe let's try to create for this side. Let's have this side. Okay, and let's create a segment here because somewhat it's not working with the line. Okay, let's hide the object, okay? So let's uh, find the measure of the angle here. And this one, yeah. Let's take a look. It's 92.11. It should be 92.11 also to on, on the internal opposite angle. So, it's yes, it's 92.11. It's the same. Why? Because of theorem number 15. Okay? And I would guess so if we try it on the other, um, on this other angle, other external angle. Um, uh, let's create another segment here. Okay. Oh, no. I should be in segment. Not another line. Segment here. Yeah. And let's hide the line. Let's hide the line. Let's check the angle. It should be the same. Yeah. It's 97.4. Let's check. 97.4 nga huba. Yes, it is. 97.4. So again, even if you would move that. And maybe you might ask, So bakit ano? Bakit dito lang ako kumukuha? Pwede ba dito sir? Sa side na to? Yes, of course. At the thing about that is, if you will try to create yan, a line segment here, dito, an external angle here, you will notice that this is actually what we call vertical angles. And remember, vertical angles are always congruent. Yan. Oh, sorry. Should be the other way. Yan. Yan, here. See, it's 87.89 pa rin. Okay? The same. Yan. Ito yung sa baba, ito yung sa taas. Then again, kasi it's a vertical angle. Remember po, ang vertical angle will be made by having two lines, intersection. Etong opposite angles na to, this one, if you would see my mouse, yan. Or let me just label that from this to this. And this to this, yan. Oh, no, 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 no. From this to this. No, 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 wait lang ah. This and this and this. Well, I, I, I don't know. In any case, I I am work. Ah, we need uh, to have a point here. Okay, there you go. And let's try to find the angle. This, this, and no, 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 the other way around. This, this, and this. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, see, it's ninety ninety four point fifty one. Then again, vertical angles. Sila. Kaya they are the same. So same goes. Pagdating dito, if you will extend this side, it would still be ninety two point two. External angles on one point or one vertex would be the same. May it be you extend this side or this side. Okay, but the point is the same for theorem number 15. That if you have again, that if you have an external angle on a consec uh, on a cyclic quadrilateral, the external angle is always congruent to the opposite angle. Okay? So with the, our examples, I hope that is clear for you guys. And again, what is the implication of this one? Just always assume that they are congruent, the external and intern opposite internal angle, okay, of a cyclic quadrilateral, okay. If you would have any other questions, you can go back to our video, or you can ask me in our group. Um, thank you everyone for listening, and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.